Hello and welcome back to 24-7 Round Deutscher. This is episode 3 of the second season with Las Palmas in La Liga. We are playing Football Manager 2018. And as you can see, we got some good news coming in here. We are unbeaten in the league for 18 matches in a row. And including games against Barca, Real Madrid, Valencia, Atletico, Sevilla, Villarreal, Sevilla again, Atletic. So we played the best teams and then lose 18 games. We are now mm, second in La Liga because of our goal difference, but level on top, level on points with Malaga who are on top. 16 points from six games so far and in the Europa League things have been going well as well one game played one win against Sturm Graz and now we are gonna play against Bordeaux for our second game in the Euro Europa League let's have a look at our our lineup for today uh, there I had to rotate the team a little bit because we cannot play a game against Atletico in a few days time so I want to have my best players available for that game I don't care about this game as much as I care about the league game in goal we have Chichitola then Sergi Palencia Lemos Garcia and Saul as the back four Hernan and Aguilar in the deep midfield Tillman Garcia and Navarro in behind Roger who is up front Roger scored five goals and two assists in three games in La Liga his average rating is through the roof and he scored a hat-trick actually in the last game so I wanna, don't want to take him out of the team I think he can I hope he can keep his run going uh, interesting they play a 4-2-3 4-1-2-3 that's it interesting formation but I prefer this formation here with the attacking midfielder even if he drops deeper he's still gonna be up here sometimes and they just they might have their striker isolated although it looks like he is doing just fine for them let's get started I don't know that much about them I know that Malcolm is a really really big talent he's on the ball right now in real life Brazilian but other than that, I don't know that much about Bordeaux. They already got an injury. Unlucky for them. And I'm gonna take off, get stuck in. Actually, no, I'm not gonna take it off, but I'm gonna tell Hernan to ease off tackles. He got all, he got a yellow card already. I don't want anyone to get sent off. He might even be the one who injured their player. Oh wait, they, they took off their striker, their main man. Another one I have to tell you. He's off tackles. Palencia ticked off a card. So they had to exchange their striker, which is good for us. And Garcia also picked up a yellow card now. What the? He's off tackles, man. And Lemos, okay. I, have <laughs> I also have to tell him to ease off tackles now. And I think we should take in, I take off, get stuck in as an instruction. I don't want to risk uh, red cards here. I really don't want to risk them. Already got four yellow cards in the first half. Palencia with the throw in the first offensive highlight for us. Palencia, can he cross? He lays it off to Hernan. Who loses the ball? Now Bordeaux can counter here. Jonathan Cafu. What can he do? Lemos gets the ball. Palencia is there. Lemos plays it back to our goalkeeper, to Garcia, on the left side to Saul, Tillman has a lot of space, doesn't use it, Aguilar, out to Navarro on the right hand side, a nice switch of, switch of, switch of flanks there, Palencia gets the second ball to Aguilar again, Aguilar out to Palencia, who is completely out of position now and has to turn around, Saul to Palencia again, Aguilar and Aguilar scores, a really weird move from uh, is it Sergio Palencia, our right back, who somehow came up here as the inside forward, like our inside forward would be here usually. But it works out in the end. He gets the assist and Aguilar scores. The 
Colombian legend. Speaking of Colombian legends, I'm toying with the idea of starting a journeyman kind of safe in South America, like starting out unemployed and trying to get a job at the small, smaller leagues, smaller clubs in South America. I already downloaded a database with, uh, I think it goes down to even the third league in Chile, something like that. And all of the South American leagues are playable there. It looks really interesting and I, I might start that soon. Hernan to Navarro. Second half is now already been going on for a while. Navarro, I think that might be a penalty for us. Son Carré, is that his name? Is he French? He committed the foul and Hernan is going to take the penalty. I'm not sure if Hernan is, a, is an accomplished penalty taker. I have not seen him take many penalties for us, but he is, he is second goal of the season for him in the last league game, I think. Or the one of the last league games, he scored a screamer from distance, and it's really good to see that he keeps his goal scoring form going. I'm gonna make a change here now. Tejero can 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 come on for Palencia. Vieira, he got injured again. Is gonna come on. Madragora is also gonna come on. I'll just wanna make sure that. The local players are not gonna get sent off. I'm gonna take three of them off immediately. The game should be one, two nil up. Not much to see from Bordeaux. If anything at all. But maybe they just got unlucky with their early injury of their star striker. Maybe that's the reason why they cannot perform today. It doesn't matter to us. We're just gonna take the win. Either way. It's almost Almost over now. Viera with a free kick. Cross comes in. Uh, not not accurate enough. Now Bordeaux can counter here. Cafu or shot from range and it goes wide. No danger. No danger at all. Goal kick for them. Seems like just the play of the game is gonna gonna end like this. Yes it is. 2-0 win away from home against Bordeaux, one of the stronger teams in the group. Things are looking good for us. Things are looking good in the league and in the Europa League as well. Next up is Atletico. A few changes again on the lineup. Chichi Tola in goal, Cointrao, Bigas, Lemos, Michel is the back four, Mondragora and Vicente Gomez, the deep midfield, Boja Mayoral, Vieira, Emmanuel Boateng and Jonathan Cagliari up front. We have just set another unbeaten record for this season, or for this club actually. 24 games across all competitions, unbeaten, a new club record. And we are trying to extend this today, but it's gonna be tough, it's gonna be really hard. Well, of course we have a familiar, familiar face here. Vitolo is playing for Atletico. He was here on loan for the first half of last season. And their front two with Griezmann and Diego Costa is just mm, so threatening. Vitolo loses the ball to Quentrao. This is the kind of kickoff highlight I like. In the last few weeks, I've, we've actually conceded from kickoffs. We started conceding from kickoffs, which is so weird. I think two games in a row we conceded straight from the kickoff in uh, throwing for us but Madrigora loses out Oblak is under pressure Viera Viera tries to find Mayoral but Mayoral moves into the penalty box and Viera doesn't doesn't expect that move Diego Costa alone against three Carrasco is now on there oh Atletico are so dangerous in those transitions with their high quality players and their high tempo football it's just so dangerous to play against but looks like their players are a little bit struggling in terms of conditioning. One of them is already down to 67 or something like that. Corner for them now. Diego Costa with the header. Oh, dangerous. Dangerous again. Free kick for them. Atletico. Coque to Vitolo. Vitolo, come on. It's not your day to shine today. Vitolo. 
plays it back to the number 16, Vicente. Great tackling from Mayoral, but Vicente loses out. Atletico loses the ball again. Vicente, great tackling. Caleri, Caleri, can he hold up the ball? He does. Vicente, Mandragora, to Vieira. Vieira auto contra. Vicente, can he find? No, he cannot. And now it's counter time. Atletico, oh, great inception. Lemos. Oh, Caleri, he was one on one with the keeper. He should have done better there. He could have walked and rounded the keeper. He could have rounded the keeper. But he was a little bit too fast there with his decision making. Atletico on the break again. Griezmann, one on one with our keeper. And Chichi Thola shows his class, shows why he is an Argentinian international goalkeeper with one cap. Okay, but still, he's an Argentinian international. He even went to the World Cup with them. Uh, if that happened in reality, I would be shocked, to be honest. It would be weird to see. Now, second half is on the way. So far, we've not been doing that badly. More possession for us, but that's to be expected against the counter, counter football of Atletico. They had to make a change now. One of their players is just too exhausted to keep playing. But that could be said for many of the players actually, and we have to make a change as well. But Tang picked up a knock in the first uh, in the game earlier on, and gonna take him off now. He's not having a good game. I might take off Cagliari as well, but not just yet. Camero with a long shot for Atletico. Not too dangerous. I'm gonna take off Cagliari. Right now, bring on Araujo. Maybe he can be the difference maker for us. I hope he can. And I'm gonna bring on. This might be kind of risky, but I'm gonna bring on Hernan as an anchorman. I just like his, his experience there. Mandragora has not have uh, didn't play that badly, but I think Hernan is just someone who can. Keep the defense, uh, defense together. Vieira, a long ball to Araujo. He's alone there. He has to do something alone, on his own. Best he could do is just shoot, not give them the chance to counter. Atletico, long ball from the goalkeeper. Oh, that was a big mistake from Lemos. But Camero, instead of running on our keeper, running closer to our keeper, he just decides to shoot. First time. I'm happy with his decision. There, uh, Diego Simeone, their coach, is certainly not going to be happy with it. Last seconds running now. Vicente. I think he gets fouled there. And the game should be wrapped up. A nil nil draw. Is it going to be that? Navarro to Vicente. Maybe the last attack of the game. Michel. Out wide. Cross comes in. Vicente can shoot. Oh, this would have been the chance to score. Vicente. But Jan Oblak with a great save for them. Now, Lemos ah, in the box and loses out. Game is over. No, no draw against Atletico. I cannot blame them. I have to say we can, be, we can be quite happy with that. Against the big three in La Liga, against Barca, Real and Atletico, I'm always going to be happy with a draw. Especially if we play well, just like we did today. So we extended the unbeaten record once again now 25 games unbeaten on all co uh, in all competitions 19 league games unbeaten just a remarkable run that we are on let's have a look at the schedule the next games i'm gonna show you are probably gonna be real sociedad in la liga and schalke in the europa league second leg that's probably gonna be it yes um, leave a like here, subscribe to the channel, leave some feedback here if you have anything you, you think you can help me out with, I can improve on and um, take care, bye bye. Soy de las palmas.